Okay, welcome to my other video here. Today I'm gonna show you my home calibrated current shunt, which is not properly calibrated out of the factory. So here's the shunt. I recalibrated using solder here. On here there's written 50 m and 75 millivolts, but yeah. When I check these things using multimeter here, it shows that it's missed about, let's see, what's that, that number last time? For well, like 3 millivolts or amps. I mean, what the hell? So I recalibrate this thing to so 1 millivolt per amp. So I can read it directly using this multimeter here. This is another crappy multimeter. I'm going to get to get flux soon. It's connected here on both sides. So now we can put something here. Sit. I can't do this one handed. Come on. Okay, wait a minute. Okay, I've connected it. So I have positive and negative. Coming from my power supply down there. And all my DC power systems here. Main power supply, 30 amp. So what should I put this alone? Let's see. For example, this fan. Damn it. This. It pulls only 0.2 amps and one. It's an NMB fan, so it pulls, pulls much more power than normal fan. But yeah, this this is not properly calibrated. So if you want to calibrate it yourself, you can just easily using sandpaper to clean off this side just have black paint on it you can clean it using sandpaper then until it looks more I mean shiny then you can put a solder on it as you can see it's getting bigger then you can once it cools down you can measure it using multimeter see if you calibrate it properly because if these things get hot the, the calibration will miss and it will become very inaccurate it might jump into 2.2 millivolt per amp when it's hot so if you have any question leave it in the comment thanks for watching see you next time